Okay, so a lot of people have been asking us about what apartments are like in Korea and we're planning on moving soon so we wanted to show you guys what an office tell looks like. Uh, an office tell basically means that you live in a building above a bunch of businesses and some people use this as an office instead of an apartment. But this is our apartment so come on let's show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so since our apartment is pretty small, we have to kind of like maximize every ounce of space that we have. So we have tons of hooks here that we like suction cupped on the walls and we have like hooks everywhere holding things. And this closet is actually our shoe cupboard. Okay, so here we have shoes, 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 pots and pans, rice, shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh, what was that in the middle there? Yeah, we don't really have room, so we got to put like our pots and pans and rice here. There aren't really like cupboards to store everything in. Ooh, and these are all our sticker booth photos when we go to Norevang and stuff. It's baby's budget. Baby's budget. This is our little tiny washroom. Almost paradise. This is in the And this is my pride and glory. Um, this is our third or fourth toilet seat, Simon? Way too many toilets. I don't know, the toilet's too small for Simon's gigantic bum. And he How dare them. you say that about True! Me. Anyways, take a look, people. <laughs> this is the cutest toilet seat ever. Simon's been, uh... Martina doing... won a bet and she won the rights to put a freaking Hello Kitty seat on. But luckily, it just broke recently, so we're gonna have to get a new one. You know who broke it? Simon's giant bum. Spudgy. Simon's giant bum. Spudgy. So this is our very tiny kitchen space. Um, below us, we have our washing machine as well but there's no dryer, so we have to hang our clothing up by the window. Um, and our kitchen is really small. We have our little tiny burners here for cooking our food, hiding underneath here. And we have to double on top of it, otherwise we like have nowhere to stack our stuff. And all the stuff in our kitchen is pretty cute, because if you're gonna buy stuff, it might as well be cute, right? Look, look at my really cute chopsticks for cooking. They've got apples and stuff on them. And look at my clips for food. They're bears, they're amazing. They're totally adorable. And look at my adorable stacking cute mugs. Look at them, they're so cute for stacking. Oh my, god. oh my god, look at my sponge! My sponge has stars on it! Ew, strawberry! And my cupcake cupboards! Cupcake cupboards are so cute! So this is our bedroom! And it literally is a bedroom! It only fits a bed! Um, actually, most people who live in office towels, they sleep upstairs, but the ceiling's really short, so Simon kept smacking his head on the ceiling, so we moved down here. But something much more pressing needs to be talked about. What is it? Spudgy's adorable bed! Oh my god, Spudgy! Come sit in your bed! Come be adorable for the camera! You can do it! Oh my gosh, look at you! Can't you're believe he behaved so well for Wow, that that's a big fluke. <laughs> I mean, he's a very well-trained dog. Anyways, we bought it because it looks like a piranha plant from Mario. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so these are our animals. Um, besides Spudgy, we have three more pets. This is Kogi. Kogi means meat in Korean, but don't tell him he doesn't know. And he made a special guest appearance a really long time ago in our movie, movie theater video about TVs and stuff. Okay, um, wait. This is Nogi. Nogi is Polish, actually. Nogi means, Simon? Legs. Legs. And we named him that because he doesn't have any. So sad and ironic. Okay. And this is Pogi. Pogi, Nogi, Kogi. Pogi means I give up in Korean. Um, we just named him that because we needed a, a themed animal name. This is our wall of art. See, we've collected a few things here. So somebody drew this for Martina and Hongdae. It's supposed to look 5% like her. I don't know. And there's a spudgy. It kind of looks like him. Um, this is a picture one of my students drew for me back when I was teaching. It says, I'm English teacher. Very handsome. Also, it should have said, I'm an arrogant a**. Because well, I'm so handsome. You didn't say it, he said it. Anyhow, well this is coming out of my mouth. Supposedly I describe myself as being yeah. very handsome. And there's you and I as robots. Yeah, that's the Martina robot and that's the Simon robot. And these are rips from Simon's gigantic shoulders bumping into the wall. Under my face. shoulders don't reach down there, Missy. Those are your shoulder thighs. My shoulder thighs? My god, your anatomy is terrible. So this area is the man space. It's what I've called the man space. It's where I do my work when Martina's at work. But whenever Martina's not at work, she claims the space has her own by putting her headphones and her laptops and her bamboo pets so you can see I can barely fit in here at all the journey my own okay, as well. Ridiculously small stool. Look at your ridiculously long, 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 large okay. area. No, there's nothing wrong with that. There is. Time for a total geek fest. You like terabytes? I got terabytes. Check this out. This is where we keep all of our archive footage. This right here, archives two. This is two terabytes. Music Mondays, this is two terabytes. Here's Archives 1, that's another 2 terabytes. Music Mondays 2, there's another 2 terabytes. This, this random one is 1 terabyte. We got 9 terabytes of footage right here. Man, that's a lot of terabytes. 
Okay, this is Martina's personal corner. Simon has his man space, and this is my corner. Take a look at this stash right here. See this box? Oh yeah, what's inside this box, Simon? Oh, ha, 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 hairbands and ribbons. Glorious hairbands and ribbons. <laughs> I can feel the power. <laughs> oh. This is my epic earring collection here. Isn't that all I have? No, no. There are more earrings inside of here. Is that all that I have? No, no. There are more earrings inside that tiny little box. I like to collect earrings and hair bands. So I'm going to show you our upstairs because we have an upstairs. Isn't that cool? Check this out. Bam, 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 bam. Today, here are our tiny little stairs. Oh yeah, and here I'm going upstairs, and oh my god, I don't fit upstairs anymore. Oh hi, didn't see you come in. So this is our upstairs. This is the mattress that guests uh, sleep on whenever they come over. This upstairs here, this is where I keep all my t-shirts because I've got close to 100 t-shirts and I can't keep them all downstairs. Wow, look at this. So, bam, these are all the ridiculous shirts that you see here. Hooray for sarcasm! Good. What else do we have up here? Uh, this is where we have my little, little art supplies and all of our winter clothing fits back here. Mm -hmm. Um, all of our like foreign food that we get and our luggage because we have like four things of luggage. Oh, it's my Gujan Pyo poster when I was into Gopin and Namja. And our bookshelves and anything that needs to be like ironed. There's our microphone. We got oh. our microphone everywhere with us. Hey, there's the microphone. And here's the awesome view from our window. Oh wow, look at that. Bam, that's the window. Bam, those are people outside. So that was our little apartment tour of our office tell. Um, if you are moving to Korea, there are two other places you might end up in. An apartment, which basically just has more rooms and it's not used as an office. Or a villa, which is basically like a three or four story uh, flat apartment, which is kind of like your own little personal house space. Um, so that's about it. You guys can uh, get out because I've got some cooking to do. And by cooking, I mean ordering Korean delivery food. So uh, get out, scram. See ya. Get going, mister. See ya. Thanks for coming. But he's gonna go with you, apparently. Spongy love, you going outside. <laughs>